Citibank is making some moves and I think they've got some pretty nice tricks up their sleeve. Now, not too long ago, I made a video explaining why the City Prestige is no longer a top tier travel luxury credit card. And one of the things I highlighted in that video was that they haven't really done much to keep that card very relevant or usable during all the stuff going on in the world. Lo and behold, not, definitely don't think that video inspired anything. I think this was definitely something in the works before I made that, but they, they got a little something going on. Let's talk about it. What's going on YouTube? Welcome to Mike's Travels and Sense, where I go over points and travel strategies, and more importantly, I'm not to go broke while enjoying it all. If that sounds good to you, consider subscribing to the channel so you don't miss out on future content like this. And if you found some value in this video, drop me a like to let me know. But with all that out of the way, let's get into the video. Now, quick peek into my personal life. So I'm back on the iPhone and this may be the iPhone Chronicles for a little bit. So I was supposed to repair the camera, ended up doing a little bit more damage than repairing so i had to order another part to fix it so that's still in the works but on the bright side i now have a nice tripod that i can record from so that's what i have my iphone mounted into so that's how i'm getting this nice this nice angle and you can bask in this this angleness or whatever but anyway so first video of the week i'll also be doing my new subscriber shout out for all my new subscribers at the end of this video so stick around for that if you're one of my new subscribers and if you want to become one of my new subscribers you can you know still subscribe there's still time i promise i'm not like this isn't a limited time thing or anything but let's get into the video so what is this big change well city has gone on and added a new temporary but still new 5x category to the city prestige and this is going to look like 5x across streaming cable services and online purchases and this is going to be for a maximum of 7500 thank you points and really what this is going to translate to is about 1500 dollars worth of spend in these categories over the next two and a half months all the way up until the very end of the year so there's only two and a half months left in 2020 and that's going to be december 31st 2020 is when this temporary 5x spin category is going to expire and as much as i like the sound of 5x on that big of a you know umbrella of purchase and spending i cannot wait for this year to be over and i don't think i'm alone in that sentiment so obviously this presents a nice proposition and points earning opportunity for anybody that may already be currently holding the city prestige. This is going to be a good option for you and you can rack up a lot of points through organic spend in these point earning categories that's being streaming, cable and online purchases. Now online purchases is pretty interesting because this opens you up to just being able to buy online gift cards for those situations where whatever you're looking for may not be online but now you can you know essentially get 5x by buying it the gift card online and then going to the store or whatever so that's really opening up those 5x the 5x earning if you have this card now i don't have a data point but i have seen murmurs of this possibly also working for plastic so if you're somebody who's used or uses plastic to pay things like rent which is really the big reason you would use it you could potentially earn a 5x on your rent payment so what's interesting is that this pandemic has pretty much been a thing on the conservative side at least since april and all they've really done up until this point with the city prestige is essentially convert the 250 dollar travel credit to make it a little bit more applicable i think it's right now covering groceries and um, gas as far as the that 250 dollar travel credit and so you might be wondering why are they doing this now and they had all this time during this pandemic to do more with this card. So why are they doing this now? Well, it's no secret that since this whole pandemic started, online shopping has seen a great influx. In fact, I think people that probably really didn't even shop online before are starting to do it more frequently now. And with people being trapped in their homes, that people are probably just shopping out of boredom and all this stuff. So that's no secret. But what else could be driving this happening right now with the City Prestige? And I think the answer is actually Amazon, specifically Amazon Prime Day. So Amazon has shifted the date that Prime Day is usually on and it's now gonna be happening on October 13th. So the biggest online retailer 
is now shifting their biggest online shopping day to October 13th. And it just so happens that City has decided to make online shopping a very, very lucrative spin category on their best card. Not only this, but you can also see that other retailers have also kind of followed suit after Amazon. And you're starting to see some very, very heavily discounted days from places like Best Buy, Target, Walmart. And I wouldn't be surprised if some other big retailers are pretty much just going to try and ride this way, ride those coattails so they can start trying to hopefully make up on some money that they may have been losing out on, even though places like Walmart have been very pandemic uh, persistent. I don't know. So I think this is a very, very bold strategy from City, And if nothing else, it is at least interesting. Streaming is becoming an increasingly and increasingly competitive landscape in the credit card world since consumers are choosing to, you know, cut the cable cord and whatnot and really just pay for the streaming services that they want and then cancel them when maybe whatever show they're following is no longer in season and whatnot. So that's really becoming a very, very competitive space for these credit cards. And they've got some pretty stiff competition. The platinum card and the green card are essentially refunding you about $20 a month if you put your streaming spin on there. Not to mention all the other credit cards where you can essentially just go to like a grocery store if that card has a bonus for grocery spend and just buy a streaming gift card for that service at that grocery store and you're getting an increased multiplier buying it that way. Ultimately, I think this is a genius move from City. This card is still a viable card for consumer goods, even though it's fallen from grace as a travel card. You still get purchase protection and you still get an extended warranty on car on things that you purchase with this card. So not great for travel, but still very, very much a viable card for consumer goods. So those are my thoughts on the new 5X category on the City Prestige. But before I go, I want to do my subscriber shout out for my new subscribers and shout out to RW Stevenson and Photo V. Shout out to you. Thanks for subscribing to the channel. Hopefully you're enjoying the content. And if you haven't enjoyed the content, uh just keep watching i'm sure you'll enjoy something eventually i'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure i'm pretty sure but no <laughs> thanks for subscribing i really do appreciate it hopefully you'll stick around as this channel grows gets better and maybe we can start actually traveling some more once this you know once all this stuff blows over but that's all i had to say on that so as always if you found some value in this video go ahead drop me a like to let me know and if you want to be sure to catch more content just like this in the future, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you're notified when I do upload. And as always, the only thing more valuable than your points is your money. And the only thing more valuable than your money is your time. But until next time, peace.